Lord, bless this video. Let me not say anything that is out of order. Amen. Hey YouTube, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Angelica here. If you're new, then come in, have a seat, have several seats. If you're not new, thanks for having me once again all up on your screen. In this video, I'm going to be discussing 10 things that I absolutely loathe about LSE. This video has been long awaited and as you can see, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> it's a long list. Quick disclaimer, I love my university. I have done things to improve LSE. I've done things, I've gone to events and focus groups actually. So I've been to focus groups to improve the law department. I've been to a meeting with the LSE directors. I have been to stuff. <laughs> so I'm not just one of those people that just sits at home complaining, oh I hate this, I hate that. Like I actually want to make a difference. Like the things I hate happen to be the things I also think have a positive side to it. There's a bright side to every negative situation if you really, really think hard. If you really, really think very hard. First thing I hate about LSE is the fact that it's not a really a campus university. Like we have a campus, but it's not really a campus university because like we have halls scattered all over London. You don't really feel like, you know, you guys are all like living on campus. Like if people work in the city they're walking through your campus and it's a bit annoying because I'm like I've got to get to class and here's some random barrister who could be very very accomplished and important but like you're in you're on my campus like you are you are not meant to be here <laughs> it would be nice to have our own space we kind of feel like we are being like encroached there's not much real estate in the city of London and so LSE does do well with its space and it would be nice to have a bigger university so we feel like we're all part of something you know we're all part of the LSE not just LSE <laughs> the next thing I'd say I, I hate is how competitive LSE is there's not really any balance and students compete with each other it's like quite a toxic environment especially if you're not used to that people who are not from competitive environments, they would like LSE in a way. Some people don't come from these backgrounds. They've always been looking to be in an environment where everyone is really smart. Lots of LSE students were the top student in their class and now you're in an environment full of top students <laughs> and you can't be the top anymore. People are so like stingy. <laughs> people are so stingy with like how they give advice. Well, depending on your course as well. We have a good law cohort, but like, generally they hold their notes um, people work in groups secret groups that they don't tell you about um, so there's that element and there's the element of like everyone's applying for spring weeks and internships and back schemes and um, summer program people are very collegiate um, so as much as it's competitive I think because everyone's going through the same thing people do help each other if you have good friends you will find help. So the third one is kind of an extension from the first hate, which is that there's not really a community here at LSE. I feel like because of how fragmented it is, like it's so international, and then there's a high proportion of postgrad students versus undergrads, I feel like there's no community, like no one. We have an ethics code, but like ugh, there are many communities, but there is no LSE community, if I'm honest. Um, that I, I cannot describe what an LSE community is and I think that's a big problem people have been complaining about it for a long time and I think that's why student satisfaction is so low it's because people don't feel like they really belong as students in London we get our experience from London as a city as opposed to our university like yes we're studying at a university in London but like most of our enrichment especially if you're an international student you're going to be gaining from the city of London rather than you are going to immerse yourself in your university there's been studies even published by the LSE Beaver which is the LSE students newspaper that LSE is very lonely I was told this by a trainee who works at a magic circle law firm before I even started at LSE she was telling me that yeah this is really lonely um, I didn't really understand what she meant but now I get it like not to toot my own horn but like lots of people like come up to me every now and then tell me that they've watched me on YouTube I've met so many people especially in the years below me that I never would have met without my YouTube channel LSE is so fragmented lots of students living at home so there is no guarantee that the people you meet today are the people that are going to be there next week 
so it's quite hard to like make consistent like friends so there's quite bad communication there's so many emails and different departments at LSE and this is a good thing because there's always something going on but at the same time it's kind of hard to stay in the loop because you don't really know like you miss so many events um, so I don't know if there's any way they can like centralise the system I just cannot stay on top of it LSE kind of leaves you to run with things you have freshers week and then from then it's kind of like okay run along like see you in three years <laughs> See you in four years when it's time to graduate. Like this is something that I think departments could do better at is the fact that like you don't really get to like you don't have like uh rites of passages at ISC. It's just you just get to study here, pay them that your big bucks and that's it. Like at the end you leave. But like there's nothing to mark your first year. A list of things you might should do in your first year, a list of things you should do in your second year as an LSE student. Like there's not like ceremonial events. Oh gosh, I love that. <laughs> I love that. I do have like a final year law dinner, but um, that let's not even discuss the politics of that. I did could not go, but I didn't go. But because of how international LSE is, there are a lot of clicks, a lot of clicks, and I don't like that because I think the thing is I've spoken to lots of students like just in passing in the library, for instance. Asian students are perceived to be quite standoffish, but if you speak to them, then they're just regular individuals like they ju they're really lovely actually um they're not aliens um, i don't like when people ask me that question about lsc like oh my god i've heard it's just asian student that's not true but even if it was what about it <laughs> where do we go from here like do you mean to tell me something? <laughs> they obviously understand English, but they don't casually speak it in their groups. And I like people assume that they're standoffish because they're not speaking English and hanging out with people from their background. My problem is just the fact that as a British student, we're outnumbered. And then there's the element of people already being friends before they get to LSC. Like lots of international students already know each other. They all went to like the same boarding schools or they met up before they came to LSC for like a Malaysian students meet up. And we don't have that it, like here in Britain. LSE Law did try to, um, they actually introduced a British students meet up before Freshers Week so students that are like from London and England can get to meet each other. By the way I was part of the people that suggested that I, if you are going to start at LSE and you do end up enjoying the benefit of my labour just know that I never had that during my own time. Okay, another thing I don't really like about LSE is the fact that so many students have tunnel vision because of the nature of like the courses people don't really branch out in terms of careers i have met people for instance um who are comedians who studied law at lse i actually haven't met them my friend has met them sorry i haven't met them yet in african families there are only really four career choices lawyer doctor engineer disgrace the family those are the <laughs> those are the four career choices i feel like lse students kind of have that mentality as well like they all think oh just be a banker or a lawyer or work in the un or be a president whereas i feel like so many people could decide to take a gap year at the university but then lots of us are actually like a bit older because lots of us do military service not us but you know lots of lse students do military service and so i guess they want to just get into the world of work and I just feel like LSE students could be a bit more diverse um, in terms of like their career aspirations but I totally get why a lot of us aren't <laughs> very diverse minded in terms of where we're going to end up lots of people just want to work at Goldman Sachs and they do achieve that goal so good on them I just think it would be nice to, <laughs> to have less people with just like tunnel vision um, another thing I don't like about LSE is how controversial it can be the events are great but the topics as well are a bit problematic sometimes LSE just wants to it just wants to shake the tables LSE is always shaking the table um, but then things like the world map so we have like a map like a globe not a map sorry what a globe that um, like a sculpture and it was so controversial because like <sighs> I don't even want to go into detail but that caused a whole frenzy people were vandalizing this globe people were drawing all types of countries and saying oh this border is wrong that border is wrong this one's a state that one's not a state I'm just like LSE did you have to do this did you did you really did you have to do this um, and there's like other rumors about LSE being involved in wars 
and um, training of arms um, and all these type of things that I'm not really like that well versed on so I'm not going to give an opinion but like yeah this is kind of controversial so there was like this one guy who was in uh it's called the i think the antifa riots or something like that and he was like the face of it and he came to study at lse like these are the people who sometimes end up at lse it was a really big deal on campus and, uh, some people were like oh my gosh like the, the face of this riot like he's here like people were really scared about it um and that blew over but the point is like there's so much going on at lse like people love justice as well there's lots of campaigners and activists here at lse lse was known for being quite a socialist institution um, i wouldn't say it's the same <laughs> right now um <laughs> the people who come here just it's just the biggest irony ever like where people come from and where they end up they go into the institutions that LSE kind of criticizes all the time so I think that's funny the last thing the last thing I'm gonna say the last thing I don't like about LSE the last thing I'm not a big fan of at LSE is that there's kind of like not really like a transparent leadership in my opinion or not visible enough in the sense that yeah we have our director uh, Manoush, love you girl, <laughs> we love you. <laughs> she used to work at the Bank of England, she was like the, the top boss of the Bank of England. And apart from that, I don't really know anyone else like by name, even though I've been to like event with the LSE leadership team, I still can't really tell you anyone else apart from Manoush. Um, so I feel like there should be like more visibility of like, you know, the head of X, the head of Y, the uh, person you turn to for this issue, and um, yeah, we don't really get emails from them, like anyone else besides the director. And the director doesn't really email us that often, except for like, oh, welcome to term. Hope you're having a good term. Have a lovely end of term. <laughs> Have a lovely Christmas break. I feel like we could do a bit more to like engage like the senior leadership with the community here at LSE and students and also engage with students outside of society. And those are 10 things that I hate. There are flip sides and there are things you might love about LSE. Just because I am not a big fan of these things doesn't mean everyone hates these things about LSE. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. Leave a comment, let me know your thoughts and also leave a thumbs up. So if you have any video suggestions, please leave them in the comment section. And don't forget to connect with me on my other social media channels. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!